come here. Uh -huh. um, it's been it's been definitely a big goal. I live ten minutes from badminton, so um, so uh, you know obviously <laughs> there's a sort of a lot of a lot of history and family history there. So um, that's that's why I haven't made the trip over before. Um, but yeah, no, it's always been been a, a big aim to come here. And as soon as badminton was cancelled, the first thing I did is said, right, this is our chance. We're off to Kentucky. And since we've been here, I've loved it. What's impressed you the most? I, to be honest, how friendly everyone is. They're oh. just so nice. They've, everybody's been absolutely amazing. Um, the, 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 the place itself, it's the most British park you could find anywhere in the world. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that sort of lo lovely rolling green hills. I love the whole of Kentucky. Um, sort of flying in and seeing all the stud farms is amazing. But um, I think, yeah, it's just the, the warm welcome. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't want for a, um, a more attractive setting for a three-day event. Um, and it's, it's, yeah, you, you can't help but be, be, be inspired. Why did you pick this horse to come? Um, so he, um, he he was sort of ready to do a five star. Um, we we I've had him for a year and a half, and we went straight off to a four star long, um, which he did really well and he won it. Uh, but uh, almost the downside of that was that he he got very wound up in the in the prize giving. Um, so it took quite a bit of time to settle him. But in a way, not having a big aim last year uh, was no bad thing for him. You know, we developed a really good partnership and. Yeah, it'll be his first five star, um, but you know, hopefully he's ready for it, and um, yeah, anything can happen, but we'll give it our best shot. I thought your dressage looked impeccable. I mean, you were really a master craftsman out there. What well, would you say about it? Well, he, he was, um, yeah, I, I had a slightly uh, unorthodox warm up. I gave him a gallop this morning and then put him away, and then um, got into my tailcoat and gave him a little jump, uh, changed the saddle, and came straight down here. And um, you know, for him, it's just almost not. He's he's an internalizer, you know. He, he can he can um, bottle, bottle up, um, you know, his breathing more than anything. So it was just to try and get him breathing, and then take him in. And no, I was really pleased with him. He he he, he started to get a little bit keen and and, and going towards medium canter in his right half pass and canter. But um, uh, but 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 otherwise, I was I was very pleased with him. Um. You've obviously come up an injury in the past year. Can you talk about coming back off of that? Yeah. Um, so I was I I had a fall in October, um, competing in a three star, and um, my my foot got caught in the stirrup, and I was dragged quite a long way, and I was caught underneath the horse, um, being being trampled on at a gallop, and um, by the end, my helmet had been smashed to pieces, and I had nothing on my head, and was still being kicked and stamped on. Um, so that was uh, that was you know not not enjoyable and afterwards was quite a um uh sort of humbling few months because i was i couldn't get out of bed for a couple of months so my balance and vision had totally gone um and there's been a big team who've been really really helping me uh get back after that and yeah you know, it's been it's been a frustrating injury because it's not been one which you can just really say i'm going to be the eight great pupil and really work hard at it you know it's been there's been a lot of time and having to be patient and not do more than you can, which for an event rider is not a sort of normal uh, character trait. So it's it's been a, a slow process, but um, yeah, we, we got here, and obviously my, my big aim was to come back and do a spring five star, and that was sort of what was motivating me. And um, yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm I'm nearly there uh, in the recovery. So yeah, ho hopefully this week all goes to plan. And what has your preparation been like since obviously you guys have not had a ton of events to go to? Yeah, um, so we, we've had to slightly sort of make the, do our own. Yeah, I, I'm a bit of a believer that at this level, you know, Bampton, Bampton and Kentucky come so early in the season that you don't get a huge heap of runs if you if you have a wet spring anyway. So, you know, it's been really a case of trying to prepare through cross-country schooling, doing the fitness work on the gallops um, locally and um, and then going off to dress and show drumming competition. So it's been a bit tough. We've had to use our imagination and try and create some you know we, we had some lockdown our lockdown was quite quite strict so we had to create some lockdown competitions where we got all the horses on the yard competing um actually at another yard down the road so it's an unfamiliar <laughs> surrounding and with a load of people there and you know use our imagination but we're all in the same boat and yeah it's it's amazing actually once you're here it's really about kick on and you know just deal with what's in front of you very cool thanks cool.